In this chapter, we will discuss the proper procedure for cleaning your conveyor. After moving the conveyor, remember to place the wheels in the locked position. First, run the conveyor until it is empty. Then, place the conveyor in the off position. Next, lower the conveyor. Remember, when lowering, please stand clear of the head of the conveyor. Remember to place in the safety pin, and then remove the back plate from the base of the conveyor. Stand clear, turn on the conveyor, and press the conveyor reverse. With the tote under the end of the back of the conveyor, the reverse feature will empty the remaining product from the bottom of the conveyor. Place the conveyor in the off position. Remember, never perform any maintenance on your conveyor unless the main power switch is placed in the off position. The next step is to remove the auger from the auger coupling. Remove the panel from the drive box, exposing the auger. Loosen the clamp, holding the auger, and remove the auger by turning it counterclockwise. Then, remove the auger from the base of the hopper. Free from the conveyor, the auger can now be cleaned with a damp rag or taken to the sink and cleaned with soap and water. The next step is the cleaning of the grate of the hopper. Using the provided auger tube brush, run it through the auger tube. This will provide a general cleaning of excess product. Run it through several times until the brush is clean. Do a visual inspection to make sure the tube is clean. Now, we're going to remove the tube. Release the clamps at both ends of the conveyor. First from the drive box, and then from the base of the hopper. Then, using a slight twisting motion, insert the tube into the base of the hopper until the end of the tube comes out of the drive box. Using a slight twisting motion, you can then remove the tube by pulling it away from the hopper. Now, remove the couplings. Clean the couplings and ensure the gaskets are in proper working condition. Now we're going to remove the plate from the base of the hopper. Release the bolts holding the plate onto the base of the hopper. And remove the plate. Clean the base plate with a damp rag, or take it over to the sink and clean it with soap and water. Now, clean the inside of the hopper from the bottom. Now, we're going to remove the downspout from the head of the dry box. The next step is cleaning the drive box. Now we're cleaning the downspout at the bottom of the drive box. Using a high pressure air nozzle, this employee is spraying down the hopper, giving it a general cleaning. For a more thorough cleaning, soap and water is required. 
now with the conveyor in the upright position, cleaning of the hopper on the inside is easy. It's important to clean all parts of the hopper, making sure the surface is clean of all debris.